Hi guys, welcome to our Shikra tutorials. Myself DQ Naveen, I am your SPMBB faculty. Here is a good news for CMA final aspirants, student who is writing exams in December 25. So in our Shikra tutorials, we are launching a new batch called Revision Exams and Study Hours. When it comes to Revision Exams and Study Hours, we are providing in two modes. One is online mode, another one is offline mode. The offline mode is nothing but at campus. When it comes to the online mode, we are providing only exam services. But when coming to offline, we are providing exams plus study hours. So the important thing about this video is fee structure of the revision exams and study hours. If you opt online only exams for group 3, the fees is 4500. For group 4 also 4500. If you opt both the groups, the fees is 8000 only for exams. If you opt at campus offline, we are providing exams plus study hours. The fees is 12,000 for group 3, 12,000 for group 4, the both the groups 15,000 only. So another point you have to note, so if you are opting online mode, you can directly register in my website, our website www.shikratutorials.in. So this is about fees and uh, details guys. Now I am explaining about the schedule and the exams. So when it comes to Group 4 CMA final. So study hours and revision exams. It is in a post results batch for group 4. The schedule starts from 18th August, guys. Monday onwards. Now mode of available at campus that is nothing but offline, online. You already know at campus we are providing two services study hours plus revision exams. In online, we are providing only exam services. Now when it comes to schedule, so here we are total syllabus split into 10 parts. It means we are providing, we are conducting 10 weekend exams. In every Sunday we are conducting weekend exams. You can observe 10 weeks, 10 exams. After completion of weekends, we are planning for grant, we are planned for grant test 1 and grant test 2. I will give a clarity about the grant test 1 and grant test 2 also. So this is about uh, cost and management audit. The next CFR same 10 weekends next paper 19 IDT 10 weekends when it comes to paper 20A SPM BV 10 weekends after completion of weekends we are conducting grant test 1 we are conducting grant test 1 next when it comes to the grant test 2 it's like a exam pattern it's like a exam pattern everyday exam but if you opt only group 4 you will have one day spare so one day gap you, we were conducting the grant test too. Why? Because at that day we are uh, plan, planned for group 3 exams. It is very risky to the student who planned for both. But when it comes to only group, only single group, it is a beneficial. So next, after, after 7th December, as your choice, you can choose any subject to prepare. Up to 7th December only, we will plan for your check. Now, next, when it comes to CMA final, Group 3, post results only group 3, start from 18th August only, at campus offline, online, study hours plus revision exams and only revision exams. So it start from purple 13 for week 1, 24th August onwards, same 10 weekends. Paper 14 SFM, 10 weekends. Paper 15 DT, 10 weekends. Paper 16 SEM DM 10 weekends. Next, when it comes to the grant test 1, it starts from 30th October and from 23rd November. When it comes to grant test 2, I said already uh, in uh, group 4, same. It's like exam pattern. If you choose only group 3, you will get one day one day spare for preparing next subject. After 6th December, you can plan your own subject for exam point of view. Now the another important one is both group schedule. So it is a, it had risk factor. Why? Because number of days is less. Why? Because in every weekend you have to plan all exams. In every weekend you have to plan all subjects to prepare and write the exam. There is a risk factor. If you choose both the groups, that risk is will mandatory. Why? Because in first 24th August, law, law exam is there, SFM is there. DD is there, SMDM is there, CMAD is there, CFR is there, 
and IDT and paper 20A. In every week you have to plan for all subject, you have to prepare all subject. If you take that much of risk you will get a easily succeed in your life guys. That's a group for, that is the importance of the group, both the groups. Okay. Next when it comes to the grant test. When it comes to the grant test, you will get three days for preparing each subject gap in grant test. After completion of the grant test, grant test 2, it's like an exam pattern every day, every day exam. Similar like main exam. So this is about a study hours and a revision exams patch. I hope you understand this all. So if you plan properly for what, what is required for you, then rock the exams. Thank you. Thank you guys.